Now to a story that you'll only see on 12 News. Arizona is making history as Katie Hobbs becomes the fifth female governor. She took the oath of office this morning in a private ceremony. Team 12's Tram Mai spoke with the governor as well as former governors Jan Brewer and Janet Napolitano. Tonight, each woman is sharing their perspective on what makes Arizona so unique and the legacy they leave behind. And for Governor Hobbs, the change that she's hoping to make. It's history in the making as Katie Hobbs becomes our 24th governor. She also marks an important milestone for Arizona, becoming our fifth female governor. Hobbs follows the footsteps of former governors Jan Brewer, Janet Napolitano, Jane D. Hull, and Rose Mofford. They're all powerful women who have left behind a legacy. Hi, Rose Mofford. Five women from different political backgrounds leading Arizona and setting a record for the most female governors in the country. On January 2nd, 2023, Katie Hobbs continues this streak, officially taking office in a private ceremony. Is this moment surreal for you? I planned for this moment. I am excited about this moment and every once in a while it hits me like, wow, this is really happening. So, um, but, but I'm more than ready and just very excited. It's a legacy that reveals the fraught history of Arizona's top office beginning in 1988 when Governor Evan Meacham was impeached. Then Secretary of State and Democrat Rose Mofford became the first woman to hold the office. The next woman to become governor coming nearly 10 years later and under similar circumstances. In 1997, former Governor Fife Symington resigned and then Secretary of State Republican Jane D. Hull took over the office. The following year, Hull ran for the office and became the first woman elected to be Arizona's governor and served until 2003. From there, a streak took off. Democrat Janet Napolitano served as governor from 2003 to 2009. I think a couple of things. I give great credit to Arizona voters who, you know, look beyond issues of gender and the like and go for the person they think is the best candidate. Napolitano also credits all these women's years of service and work in government for getting to the top job. So. Um, we all got to office in somewhat different ways, but the key thing is that Arizona now has a proud tradition of electing women as governors. Republican Jan Brewer became the third female secretary of state to rise to the top office in 2009. That's when Napolitano became secretary of Homeland Security during the Obama administration. Brewer was later elected and served as Arizona's fourth female governor until 2015. Why do you think that makes us so unique? Well, I, you know, I believe in Arizona, and from the time I first ran for the legislature, um, when I was elected, we had 28 women serving in the legislature. Again, we had a, a state uh, a record of women. So Arizona has just always been very, very supportive of their women. They know um, that they're leaders, and they know that they can count on them, and they know that they do a good job. So, uh, you know, we're always very, very proud. Both Brewer and Hobbs told me there are still obstacles to overcome. Do you still think that it's an old boys club? In many ways, Arizona women have have broken the mold, but there are still a lot of things about politics that, that are an old boys club and um, barriers that women face uh, that men don't face in running for office. I believe that there are some that uh, are still uh, challenged with dealing with women and they think that we do belong at home, that we're not up to the standards that they think that we should be. Did you feel like you had to work harder mm -hmm. yes. to prove them wrong? Yep. In a recent interview with former Governor Doug Ducey, he says he's proud of the number of women Arizona has elected. Arizonans are independent minded. They make, they don't listen to the television commercial or to what some party boss says. They make up their mind on the individual candidate. In Arizona, the best person wins and oftentimes in Arizona that's been the female. Now, Governor Katie Hobbs says she's ready to lead Arizona and to inspire the next generation of women leaders. And even though Arizona has such a strong record on electing women leaders, it's a really special moment. Hobbs will have a public celebration for her inauguration on January 5th. Back to you. All right, Tram, thank you.